Hello and welcome to my video when it comes to comparing Unbounce versus Instapage landing pages. So if you've been on the market for a new landing page software, you've probably heard of either one or both of these. They are pretty big softwares when it comes to landing pages. They're competitors and they have a lot of great things going on for them. So it makes sense you'd be one out of trying to pick which one's going to be the best for you. In this video, I'm gonna help you do exactly that by giving my thoughts about both of these software tools so that you can make the best choice. Let's start with Unbounce first. So what I like about Unbounce, I've done quite a few tutorial videos about them. First and foremost, their classic editor is great. I'll get to that in a second. What's also cool is their Smart Builder. Yes, it still is in beta at the time of creating this video, but but this is a feature that's going to be very helpful with you if A, you want to save some time creating your landing pages, B, you want to create landing pages that have successfully converted in the past, or C, you want to just get your landing page up and running very quickly. Ultimately, what it allows you to do is enter in some information and it crafts a landing page template for you where it makes it much easier to go in and kind of edit a few words here and there because you do give them like a description of your company. It adds it in there or your product or your offer or your service. So a lot of the copy gets done for you. So the colors are great. You can change around the pictures and it's pretty quick to get your landing page up and running. Aside from that, the classic builder, it's a classic. It's good. It's great. It's easy. It is a true drag and drop builder what I've talked about before even stated that it's as smooth as butter <laughs> what I really about, like about it is that whenever you go to create like texture you can literally drag and drop this anywhere you want so if I was going to take this let's get the arrow or just like this, I can pretty much put it anywhere on this page. Obviously it looks horrible like this, but a lot of landing page editors I've seen in the past restrict you from say putting it only right here or only right here or only right here. What's also great about Instapage, let's delete this, is the fact that it's very easy to edit everything. In fact, they come with a few templates that actually guide you through the process where it'll say double click right here if you want to edit your headline, all right? You know, hover over this box right here and click on the delete button if you don't want that there. Oops, you made a mistake, hit the undo button. Thank God they have one of those. It'll save you a lot of headaches, okay? And so on and so forth. Like if, for example, you didn't like something, you can click on it, delete it. You can change things around. You can edit it around. You can go here and say, hmm, that's not me. Let's change that image. Click on this right here. Let's click on me. Let's click choose. And of course, let's scale image to fit for this specific example. That's not me, but if I wanted to, I just put, oops, clicked out of it, it's James, okay? And so on and so forth. I truly like their landing page builder, especially for the fact that if you haven't used landing pages before, it's gonna be pretty quick and easy to figure it out. And I don't say that about a lot of landing page builders. I've certainly used a lot of them that are very clunky. There's a lot going on, but overall, as long as you kind of see what you wanna edit, and as long as you know what you wanna drag where, like it talks about over here, you're gonna be pretty good to go. On the other hand, we have Instapage and well, very similar to Unbounce. They're also very smooth and easy to use. In fact, I love the look of them. The UI is great. I love the simplicity. They have just about, I'd say a few more templates compared to Unbounce. I believe Unbounce is like a little bit over a hundred. Instapage is right around there too. A lot of them kind of look like this where they're gonna be simple, but that allows you to kind of go in, figure out what you wanna do and change things around. Once again, very similar to Unbounce. If I wanted to change that, right? double click it, <laughs> edit it, and write, and so on and so forth. Once again, they do have this feature that I really like though. It's called the uh, Instablock. So if you click on this, Instablocks are cool because they're big templates that you can just drag and drop anywhere you want. So instead of just being a picture, you'll notice a lot of these will have columns or it'll have a, a column and a picture or a bunch of pictures or a lot of different things. This is very unique to uh, Instapage, as you can see, Instablocks trademark. A uh, cool little feature I happen to like. So let's say we want to use this. Let's do insert block. Sure, let's put it there. So let's say we want to move this down a little further. Okay, we have a lot of mountains going on there, but hey, if we wanted to change this, once again, it's gonna be very simple as clicking on something, clicking on edit, okay? We have our background image here. Let's change that. Of course, let's use the island, okay? Let's insert, and we're gonna be good to go just like that. Also, something really cool that both of these landing page builders has is the ability to optimize for mobile. If you look at this, we'll take a look, and it gives you the mobile uh, view of what it looks like. Same thing with Unbounce, and if you'll notice, it looks great. I love the simplicity of it. Obviously, this is just like a test landing page to show you how things work, but once again, both of these are extremely smooth, very easy to use, and that's two big thumbs up. It's kind of like what I'm saying right here. Regardless of which one you go with, you're gonna have a great time creating landing pages. It's not gonna be really difficult, and that's a good thing, right? 
Now, where these kind of differentiate is going to be the pricing and some of the features that come along with them. We know that Unbounce is very simple to use along with Instapage as well, but we can kind of go back and forth between who has better pricing and what better features. This is where it's gonna be mostly on you figuring out based upon what you want in your landing page builder, how much you wanna spend and so on and so forth. First, let's start with Unbounce. You're gonna be looking at a monthly pricing. It's gonna start at $90 per month. With that, you get up to 500 conversions, up to 20,000 visitors, and of course, one domain. With that, it comes with unlimited landing pages, pop-ups, sticky bars, which I love those two features. They're great for increasing your conversions. Also, access to Unbounce apps. Now, if we're going to compare that to Instapage, Instapage is going to be significantly more. You're looking at starting at $299 per month. Now, if you switch to annual, I believe you save, yes, 33%. It comes down to $199, but that's paying annually. With that, you get unlimited domains. And look at this, no conversion limits, a huge difference. And I like how it says here, uh, unlike the competition, Instapage will never penalize you for getting conversions. A shot at Unbounce? Maybe, but it's a really good feature if you're looking to be a competitor of them, obviously, okay? Customer success manager, design reviews, and of course, A-B testing, which Unbounce also has. So now, in my opinion, Unbounce is going to be the better landing page builder for a lot of people who are mostly looking to get started or just have like around up to 500, 1,000, 2,000 conversions per month, especially for the fact that it's going to be significantly less if that's something you're looking for. Even if we compare Accelerate, which you get up to 2,500 conversions per month and 50,000 visitors, you're looking at $225 and you still haven't reached the uh, initial price range of Instapage. So despite the fact they get more conversion limits, excuse me, no conversion limits, Unbounce is going to be great for a lot of individuals who are just getting started or haven't reached that higher level threshold when it comes to conversions. However, on the other hand, I think Instapage is going to be great for the, the rare few, you know, the grizzled veterans who have been around a long time. They're doing a ton of conversions and price isn't going to be as big of a deal. You just want a great landing page build you don't want to have to worry about conversions in your way past like that 2500 limit where you can just go from there get as many conversions as you like then of course optimize using a lot of their great features i don't have the pricing for their other converting plan but with that you get global blocks workspace scripts one-to-one -one ad personalization heat maps and custom fonts aside from that if we take a look at their features, they have quite a lot. We know a lot about their landing pages, but moving on from there, there's quite a few forms as well. Their form builder, multi-step forms, direct lead bypass. It really gets good when it comes to optimization, A-B split testing, which uh, Unbounce also has. But then you're looking at heat maps, conversion analytics, uh, personalization in terms of ad map and post-click scores, one-to-one -one ad to page personalization, which I talked about in their pricing plans. So, so overall, in my opinion, Unbounce is going to be better for a larger portion of the market who are looking to create landing pages. They're going to be significantly cheaper, but still feature a great smooth drag and drop builder that's going to help you create landing pages that convert. You can always move up from there. Then of course, on the other hand is going to be Instapage where if you're a grizzled veteran, you're doing a ton of conversions and you don't want to have to worry about those limits. You're going to be free from that where you can just keep building your uh, landing pages with Instapage, getting your conversions and going on from there. And one last thing, if you would like to get started with Unbounce, I do have a link down below where if you click that, you can get 20% off your first three months or 20% off for a full year with Unbounce. So if you take a look at the new pricing with that, you're looking at $72 per month for the first three. These also change as well. And of course, if you go with annually, you'll also save 20%. So, so ultimately, it's going to be significant less compared to Instapage. But if you're one of those individuals who have been going at it for a long time, you really need unlimited conversions, then definitely check out Instapage as it can do a lot for you as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out in terms of what's gonna be best for you as an online marketer when it comes to using landing pages. I will have links down below in case you'd like to get started along with plenty of tutorial videos in case you want more information about these landing page builders. Thanks again for stopping by and enjoy.